Very known for their skillful complex apa harmony, the Bunong indigenous people of Taiwan are a musically gifted tribe with their very own non-Chinese culture. Two groups of culturally conscious Bunong people in Taitung County's Yanping Township, the Bandala Cultural Association and the Wulin Elementary School Choir are doing their part to preserve this unique culture. The former comprises of mostly senior citizens, while the later are young students, and all of them are striving to protect their invaluable culture to share the beautiful Bruno music with the rest of the world. Bursting with pride and power, the Wulin Elementary School Choir performs a Bunong song a cappella. The audience is wowed by the youngsters whose singing has won the county choir contest for seven consecutive years. At the traditional year shooting festival, Bunong children shout the war cry in their mother tongue in the same way as their forefathers once did. Such beautiful music deserves to live on, and it is flowing once again through these mountains from the mouths of these youngsters. At the beginning, we didn't know how to sing it. The teacher taught us how, and we practiced over and over again until we got it. The students didn't know how to sing the songs, so I taught them until they could sing to move their parents to tears. Their parents never learned to sing like that. Situated in the remote areas, the Wuling Elementary made its name with the Bunong songs by winning the national music competition for two years in a row. The choir instructor Hu Jingyang is a Bunong elder. After retiring from her teaching post seven years ago, Ms. Hu has been teaching students the unique Bunong music free of charge. She teaches more than just techniques. The children must also assimilate the wisdom embedded in the lyrics. The techniques were almost lost for a generation, but our children are extremely interested in learning it. Coming to the choir allows me to learn the Bunong language. I want the whole world to know our mother tongue. Another local Bunong tribe here is the village of Hongye, the birthplace of the eponymous Little League baseball team who beat the world champion Japan in a friendly game in 1968. The village has another treasure, the Bandala culture troupe. After a day's work in the fields, at 8 p.m. the community gathers to practice their music. The troop members have an average age of 55. 72-year-old Bunong elder Hu Anmei and her son Chou Donghui has been partaking in the choir for five years already. I just had to join this choir and make it known to the world. Sometimes I just want to cry when I think about how hard our previous generations strove to protect our heritage. Done in traditional outfits, the Bandala culture troupe even went overseas to perform. Troop leader Wu Zaixin was a teacher at the Luanshan Elementary School for 33 years. In his retirement, Wu and his elementary school friend Chiu Chaohuo established Bandala that offers music lessons twice a week, free of charge. The administrative and planning work is taxing, but our choir members' support and passion for the cause ultimately motivated me to carry on the work. His colleagues feel just as strongly about their work. We must pass down the Bunong culture, because if we don't, it will eventually die out. Aspects of the Bunong culture once faced the threat of extinction, but now tribes people of all ages are working together to revive the music tradition with joy and pride.